Ladies, can I ask you before we start, who are you in the show? Who do you most relate to? And is it a hybrid of someone? Um, I feel like I'm blended. Like there's parts of myself that I see all four of them. This is the word go, yo, go. Well, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Grown Ass Women TV. We are so excited to have you all here. Wherever you're watching in the world, let us know in the chat below. Hi, live chatters. If you're watching hello. on the here Wednesdays. There you are. PM Eastern. Look at that. Right Where'd below. You go? Chatting away. Telling Chatting us where you're from. Hitting that, hitting that like button. You yeah. know. Let us know yeah, where you're come. watching from. Let us know who you're wearing. What are you drinking? It's going to be fun. Uh, we are here for a very special reason, you guys. Yes, we love our Wednesday Night God TV. Hashtag God TV. But we are here for a very special lady. It's time for Mickey in the City. The big birthday celebration. Cheers to Mickey, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Yes. It's my birthday. It's your birthday. Yes. It's your birthday. And you guys, thank you for joining our um, subscription as well. And um, if you guys click the likey likey button we get a thousand likes we'll bring back the live chat how about that let's get those likes up you guys likes, let's get yes. those likes up yes and don't forget to subscribe you get the juicy juicy edited oh. unedited and our our, our our little hottie toddies you guys yes yes they're so exciting yeah yes we delve and into don't the like forget the bell that's our favorite ring that bell get it yeah click that bell icon to enable notifications so you never miss a future episode ladies this is gonna be fun because it's just us tonight it's just family it is. and we're here to celebrate our mickey the james <laughs> mickey absolutely, the james. absolutely. Oh, I love we, we have to we have to start off by you know wishing you know seeing her a happy birthday you know. val's favorite, val's favorite. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mickey. Pickles, pickles. Blow it out. Oh, it worked. Yeah. Did it? Wow, it's like magic. I had to bust out my Hanukkah candles. I don't have any birthday candles. <laughs> Moana, I know. It's Mickey's birthday. Let's have a little Mickey Mouse party. We're so excited. Was she Yarn. singing too? She's singing too. She was telling you what a great singer you are. Oh yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Oh my goodness. I love you. I love you. I love you. We love you. Oh. We're so glad you were born, Ski. Oh, thanks. I was so great. I'm so grateful I was born on this day. <laughs> You're this welcome. Day of Mickle -Mickle. And welcome. This day I was born. Um, I, I do want to say thank you. I, I'm grateful to celebrate my birthday, another birthday with you ladies. Thank you so much. Um, I have to get to who we drink in, what we wear in mm -hmm. immediately because my ice cream, which I took a little clip of, is now melting in here. But because it's my birthday, I made a little... Lisa, we talked about this. I didn't do ice cream because I'm trying to watch my boyish figure. So I did um, strawberry froyo. Oh. With, oh, can you see it in there? I did some strawberry froyo with a little chocolate syrup, which you can't tell, with my favorite little bueno bar. Ooh. As, a, as just like a little accompaniment, you know, to throw it off. I got that, and I have a little liqueur birthday shot because I thought it went well with my dessert. Um, Yay! Should we do a happy birthday shot to different. Mickey? To, to, to yeah, off? we can do that too. We can just shoot yeah. her. Happy well, birthday. Mm. You Never. know what? If, if you're watching on social media, listen. It's I'm Mickey's birthday. Ooh! From Boot Barn. Oh, look at those. Boot it's barn. a little tank sweater. A little crisscross action in the back. So it's uh -oh. it kind of says fall. Like fall is coming. We're ready. But it's not committed. You know, no mm. sleeves. A sweater tank. No sleeves, there you go. no problems. Well, I'll tell you yeah. what. We are raising a glass to Mickey James on her birthday. We're so glad that she was born ski because we love her so much. Heart of gold, body like a fierce phoenix. <laughs> mouth like a voice like an angel. I don't know. Mouth like a <laughs> sailor, voice <laughs> like an angel. Yeah. Oh, that God. sums it up. We love you, Mickey. Cheers. I love you. I love you guys. I love you. I love you, Mickey. She's a grown ass woman. I am. I don't know if I want to shoot coffee liqueur. Oh yeah. Why too strong. Yeah. Let me go ah. next. I am. I am uh, drinking a little cranberry juice. 
And um, I am also imbibing in some Rocky Road ice cream. It's melted as well. Um, I'm lactose intolerant. My oh, boyfriend no. is type two diabetic and he has a sweet tooth and saw this in the back of the refrigerator. And I'm like, oh, he was trying to be sneaky. But little Rocky Road. Okay. I brought for like when I was going to go overseas. I love and it. And a little, little um, workout gear. Little Look at you. Yes, yes. <laughs> Okay. Mm-hmm. So earrings. I, I actually busted out earrings. You guys know I don't wear jewelry very much. That's but, great. Um, very yeah, I'm gonna take a little. I'm gonna take a little scoop a doop a doop for you, Mickey. We're scoop, all celebrating, and I did tell the ladies. Doop, Gotta know the bathroom. Doop, <laughs> doop, 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 doop. It's gonna oh be. Oh my goodness! Look at that ice cream. That's a good ice cream. Mmm. <laughs> That fro yo yo. I will tell you guys <laughs> that I am not a sweet tooth person. I never have ice cream in my fridge, like ever. Um, and I'm doing low carb, so there's especially nothing exciting in the fridge, but or freezer. But I will enjoy a shot of whiskey. And I don't even know where the hell I had this. I'm like, well, it's the only shot I have. And I'm drinking a little white wine ski, little oh. Sauvignon Blanc, Sauvignon Blanc, nice, and classy. And uh, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm just going to drink my calories instead because, listen, those are low carb, right? Alcohol is low carb. Totally. Absolutely. Yeah. Doing it's great. Cleansing. It's cleansing you. And and we got a little bacteria. Purple, a yeah. little purple on there. I have some purple. Yes, I do. And I'm wearing uh, one of my favorite um, Harlow uh, chains from uh, Harlow. I'll put the uh, info in the description. I've also got some um, beautiful purple numbers going on. I'll tell you, I don't wear purple very often, but this is a River Island dress that I love. And I, I feel like purple and pink is hard to wear with red hair, but now that I have it on, I really like it. So I like it. I'm rocking it. Yeah. Thanks. I love River Island. I really I do. I love That's one of Gail Kim's favorites for those keeping yes. score at home. Yeah. They have some great you stuff. You can watch one, our episode. We had her on in the past, so go go back and like you, like you, that, um, that little episode. Yes, yeah, and you know what, Lisa, speaking of past episodes, again, if you guys are just joining us, we're so happy that you're here. Please like, subscribe, and join us every Wednesday at 5 p.m. for the live show. But if you're just watching us for the first time, go back and watch all of the replays because there have been so many great moments and great guests from wrestling, you name it, but also some great guests from other genres of life. And I will say that if we can right now, what do you say we take a little special peek down memory lane of hmm. Mickey's greatest moments on GOT TV. Are we ready, ladies? Yay. But Let's see. have a look. I don't, think, I don't think we have 10 hours. I know, right? There's so much. Let's have a look. No, they said greatest of. They said greatest. Ah. <laughs> Smile, and I think it was like this. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, no. I think that's how you know my passport photos? I did. No, no, no. Here it is. You take knuckle down, and then you squeeze, push down like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Being there with me in spirit, it was a help. The gods are pissed. They're pissed. Like a beat. You're like a beat. Your shoulder looks like little, like more, like capped on that side of your body. I mean, well, I is it is it from Legacy Subs or is it from that championship bail? Yeah, it's for um, Legacy Subs and her legacy and doing all these overhand shoulder presses. Just single arm. You guys won't even know it, but my right arm is going to look jacked and stacked by the next pay per view. You have no idea. I just walk around all day holding. How sweet that mango cheese, cheese. grilled cheese sandwich. We were talking about pumping the pumps of it. <laughs> and everyone's consent. Oh, screw her. her. Well, you know, hey, that wasn't going to say. So she's not coming on God's TV to establish that. She's not invited. She's not invited. Okay, that's fair. It's your birthday. And I got to show off this sweet jacket which I never spun to show this awesome jacket. This is a Ramblin' James jacket that I had them custom made. Uh, yes! 
my dream catcher. Oh, why did my back not get on television? Taking shots? Everyone. Everyone. Everyone has to. I thought I was going to take sips. Okay, I was, um, oh. I was no, like, it's too early. Wow. I'm at school right now. Yeah. And I'm home and it could get ugly. You know, it could get real see weird. Mom with the, see mom with the lampshade hey, on Hey, get back here, kid. Hey, John, I love you. She's chasing, she's chasing the bus down the road. <laughs> the hot dog with yes. onion, a little bit of onion, a little bit of relish, a yep. little bit of ketchup, and some spicy mustard. What, what are you gonna try? The hot dog first. Okay, give us give us your your okay, okay. Mm. You know what I think that calls for? Yeah. Oh, shot. No, I didn't put my hands on. I said. Yes, you did. Roll the footage. Roll the beautiful bee <laughs> footage. You did. Listen, Roll that you beautiful You didn't want to get into footage. the cage. You know the rules were to get into the cage. All you had to do was get into the cage. You didn't want to get into the cage. I was walking into the cage. No, you were right, But you were impatient and you threw me <laughs> into Savannah who was, who was blocking the, the door. Yeah. got to go. I was the... Well, you know. I wound it up too like this. Out. I know you did. I saw. <laughs> you did? I saw. <laughs> You're wearing and, I, I, and so she kept plopping. She took as many bumps as I did that night. <laughs> <laughs> Min, Minnie James, little Minnie James. Minnie James was bumping yeah. her ass off. Right Hey, guys. There were many great Mickey moments to mention, honestly. <laughs> Hi, baby <Honor>. bud. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. You know, I was doing a voice for her like she was doing the thing, like, everybody, don't forget that we have memberships. You can yes. become a member today. She'd be like, Pixie's right. She is right. Pixie, you're so smart. I it's know. So Are funny. You, you have all that? those brains, but you can't brush your teeth. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> look at look. Pixie's already a member of our Instagram membership. So that she really is fun. of our Instagram yeah. and our YouTube memberships where you can get all the juicy good stuff to there. Heck yeah. You know, the juicy yeah. juicy. Yeah. Yes. The and juicies. also, you guys, we're going to go into our social peekskies. <gasps> oh, Pixie okay. and I, we were gallivanting around jolly old London. And let me tell you, we were in town for it was a Red party on Piccadilly, if you will. It's a Piccadilly fun fair, really. <laughs> and we were Piccadillying all the dillies, picking all those yeah. dillies around well, London town. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we picked all them dillies. All dim dillies. And I'll tell you what, <laughs> London, more like fundin when we're yeah. around. Because Mickey was in town for Rev Pro. I was in town ring announcing for Progress Wrestling, who has a new on-demand channel. It's Demand Progress Plus. Please look it up and wow. follow, follow, her, follow me. It's great. And mm-hmm. we had a little uh, little meeting meetup in London. And uh, let's say that some some laughs were had, some drinks were consumed. Yes. And it was a great time. Have a look at this. The best. Mickey, you ready for dinner? So ready. Are you? Go. I'm ready. Pasta, bring it. There you go. <laughs> She's ready. Oh my we god, and that, that calls for another shot ski. Oh, shot ski! 
Lisa made herself the shot master for this. We didn't even know. <laughs> you did. Everyone in the chat, let us know what you're drinking right now in the chat. Tell us what you're mm -hmm. imbibing. Even if it's water, we don't judge. I don't care. Yeah. Tell me Tell that what you're enjoying well. tonight. To Mickey. Thank you for to coming me. to London Town. I love to you. Me. Oh my God. Thank you. Good Thanks time. for coming in early to come hang out with me to Gallivant to go peruse the city. It's I we don't often it. get in the same city, and usually it's here in the states. It's very rare that we get to come and hang out with you. And now it's you're true. And a lot of times when you come, you're visiting country. Nick's family. Which, by the way, oh my gosh, Nick is making so many money moves. We just saw some Instagram posts of Nick and his fantastic suits. How is the suit line going? By the way, because we love. Huh? Listen, we all agree. Everyone has a different character, whatever. But we do love that Nick is always so dapper in his suits. We're going to put the description Very uh, for the suit company because they're so crisp and lovely and chic. Thank you so much for mentioning that. Yeah, the Nasir, yeah. Nasir suits and the Nick Aldis collection. Uh, it happened way back when he was doing NWA as the champion when he was the and he was getting suits done. And then he talked to Nasir. Nasir actually helps a lot of the guys now. I think he does a couple people's suits now. Oh. Um, but the original was Nick and he, and I think because, you know, obviously he wanted to present himself as the world's champion and, and kind of do that. He's like, you are, you, perception is reality. And so he's like, I want to walk, I want to look like a champion. I want to talk like a champion. And the suits were a big part of it. Totally. And now everybody loves a suit, but yeah, do they have they Nasir? Do you have Nasir? Do you yeah, have a Nasir. collection? You know, we're going to go up to own. anyone that's wearing a suit. You have our permission to go up and be like, that's great. Is it in a Sears suit? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's you not? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Sorry. It doesn't Sorry. have your name embroidered on the inside? Oh. oh that's that's sad. Oh. What is that, a men's <laughs> warehouse special? Huh? Right. Yeah. Right. In all David, seriousness, David, it is, David is getting measured. I, David, is getting measured to get uh, to order a suit. So Yay. He always mentions, he goes, damn, that Nick Aldis, is, he's a handsome fella. And I'm like, I know, yeah. right? He just dresses the part and just looks superstar. Yeah. Superstar. And he it's very really important, suit. especially for, for wrestling, to kind of keep that tradition alive because so many people dress so sloppy nowadays. And don't get me started on that. But in all seriousness, it's like the song. The get song, out of here, sweatpants. Yeah, get out of here, sweatpants. But it's like the song. Everyone's suit. crazy about doing? a sharp dressed man. You know what I'm saying? All the girls crazy about a sharp dressed man. It's very, very important. Yes. It is. Yes. Fashion <laughs> matters. Yes. Yes. So I have a game, a Sex in the City trivia game. Val, I know you're a big fan. Lisa's probably not as big of a fan as you and I of this show, but I've had this no, game I forever. Behind on the new new stuff. Well, There's I've had this game stuff. forever. Um, I can't remember when it came out. I think I got it as a birthday gift a long time ago because I think my mom got it for me because she knows I love the game, the the show. Like I had the whole collection. I used to have the whole collection. Um, but anyway, but I've only probably played this game twice, you know, so this thrice is nice with the Can three I of ask you guys, and you know, what's funny is I, I was three kind of kidding, but I asked Charisma Carpenter was talking about this show on a Comic-Con panel and then James Marsters, who's Spike from Buffy. And we were joking about how, like, which character are you? And we said, James, are you like a Carrie Miranda? He like went with it. It was very funny. But ladies, can I ask you before we start? Who are you in the show? Who do you most relate to? And is it a hybrid of someone? Um, I feel like I'm blended. Like there's parts of myself that I see all four of them. Right. There's like yeah. really like where they resonate with me on different levels. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I think everyone's a Carrie something high. Cause Carrie's like the every woman, right? Like she's yes. very relatable. Mm -hmm. I will tell you though, no spoilers, but as she goes on, she gets a little more insufferable. And you know, SJP is my my god. I literally have her merchandise in this room right now. I love her. But I always thought I was a Carrie Charlotte hybrid. And then I went, okay, Charlotte with the kids and the neuroses and the I was like, I think I just like her closet the best. But I yes. now know that I'm more of a Carrie, more Samantha than I ever thought I was. So that's growth. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I yeah. probably I'm the least relatable with Charlotte, I mm. think. Least relatable with Charlotte. She's a bit much. Yeah, she's a bit of yeah. a prude. You know? There was an episode where, you know what, the, the worst Charlotte moment to me, and again, a lot of this stuff is like kind of antiquated now, but there's a, just for those watching, especially grown-ass women watching this show, there was an episode where Miranda was trying to buy her own apartment, and Charlotte literally says to her, they're at the cafe, of course, 
And she's like, you can't buy an apartment as a single woman because then a man that you date will then think that you don't need him. And I was like, that is the most on Yeah, but do you remember the oh. episode when she was trying to date after the divorce and she brought the guy home? And then yes. he was like, oh, this is your apartment? Oh, this is your apartment? What? Freaked out. <laughs> you yeah. He's like, you're yes. rich? Yeah, because she, her, her ex-husband had given her the apartment. Thanks, Bunny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, I, I think I like identify that. myself with more uh, Samantha. A little bit of Carrie, too. Mm -hmm. um, Charlotte, I like her, her standpoint on like marriage and like just the, the having that really anchored down relationship kind of thing. Yeah, but I'm more Samantha that doesn't give an F. She doesn't right. give a, like She doesn't care who judges her. And that's where I think all of us girls are in our lives. Like, going, if you're going to judge me, you're not my friend. Yeah. So do no yeah. judgment here. So she gets, totally. she, that's how she wants to be. So I'm, um, yeah. yeah. I think I want to be, uh, I want to be a Carrie. I want to be a Carrie Samantha most of the time, but most probably a more Carrie Miranda than I am Carrie Samantha most times. But Miranda's Samantha boss, does babe. come out. Samantha comes out. Yeah. She does yeah. come out. But I love yeah. the Miranda side too. I mean, I, I, I wish I was, I wish I was more like Miranda, very like unapologetic. And you know what I mean? Like, I'm kind of like, I, I tend to be a little bit too much of a people pleaser. And Miranda's like, nope. And I like that. Miranda yes. and Samantha have some great qualities. We can all learn from all of those characters. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, just a Absolutely. question from me. You can start the game. I just wanted to see who okay. we're all vibing with. Okay. So obviously we're not going to play this game how it was intended to be played because we are via Zoom now. So I have the questions. I have the questions. Question side up. I've shuffled them. I'm going to shuffle them again just because I accidentally showed the wrong side. Um, I have them question up so even I can try to answer because the answers are on the backs. Are we supposed to write it down? Are we supposed to write it down? Um, I think you can just, well, no, I think you can just answer. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, Tony, Tony's here in the background. To Tony, score. Tony, get in here because you need to keep score, buddy. Yes, okay. he's keeping score on the side for us. Okay, so I'm going to give you. We can either, you can either roll the dice to see who goes first, or you can just pick who wants to go first. And I can either roll the dice for you, or you can pick a number one through six. Um, well, no, one through five, because number six on here, you're supposed to act it out. And then, okay. but that means only the other person, because then I would have to tell you in the chat what you're supposed to act out. Um, so it would only give that other person one shot to get a point and we won't okay. all get points. Gotcha. Okay. I think, sorry, I was muted there. I think you should go first because it's your birthday, Mickey. Okay. 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 First, and I'm going to roll the dice to see what number I pick. Okay. I get. Oh, two. Two is what I got. Oh. Okay. What was Charlotte's baby name? that she accused Lainey of stealing. Oh my God. Was it Harry? No. It was her husband. Can we, yeah. we can't answer for you, right? This is your question. No, this is everybody can answer. Whoever gets it right. Oh my everybody God. can answer. Can I give you a hint? Right. No, I you if know you know the answer. I know I know it's a girl's name. I, I don't remember the answer. I'm gonna go with so I was thinking I, Emma, but that's friends. I'm gonna go with Hannah. I could I be don't very know wrong. The answer I'm horrified if I'm don't starting know. Up. I thought it was a little boy's name for a second. It's a girl's name. Alright. I don't know it. No? Can I'm you tell us what it starts it. with? It starts with a shh. Shayla. Yes, Val. Oh, wow. Val. Point for Val. Yeah. Okay. Point for Val. Which, by the way, is such a slutty ass name. Apologies to the women named Shayla in the chat, but Shayla is like day shift Debbie. Now coming to the stage. It's bad. Shayla. Shayla. God, that's awful. Charlotte's very classy. No, I don't I think it that. is. No, Shayla's a lovely name. It's a lovely just name. Someone Shaylin is in our live chat, Biggie. Uh huh. <laughs> it's a lovely name. Right up there with Crystal, last name Chandelier. But I digress. <laughs> you do you, Boo. 
That's fun. Who was the first man to leave Carrie in Paris? Leave, did it say to leave? To Carrie? leave Carrie for Paris. Oh, that was a second. Gotcha. To leave Carrie for Paris. I know it. I'm not, it's not my uh, Google. Oh my God. And I forgot his name. Um, Val's not a big fan of his, the guy that made the, the, the homemade furniture. Um, Aiden. 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 I'm going to say Aiden. No, it wasn't Aiden. It wasn't big, I, was it? I don't think it was big. Uh, Ooh, because he, I know it was. It was that he's Russian a, he's guy. A, he's a musician. I mean, I mean, musician. You're right. You're right, Mickey. You're right. Al's face. I, Val? Okay. This is why I hate this, because I love this show so much, and it's, like, right in my head. So Alexander Petrovsky was a Russian ballet dancer in real life. But in the in the show, he was an artist, right? Yes. He's not the first person to leave Carrie for Paris. The first person to leave Carrie for Paris was Mr. Big. Oh! And, yeah, and she never got over it. Yeah. That's right. I thought he was the second. I was the second, but that was the first time because Big was a real asshole and he kept leaving. Yeah. I kept, and oh she, and she, he I didn't really even so invite much. her. Remember, she, like, she wore up a beret and was like, oh, I'm bringing French fries and... He never really even like invited her, which I'm a Mr. Big fan, but like that was not cool. She was literally, yeah. that episode is about um, how much pain can you endure from someone she just kept getting beat down by. Yes. Like, yeah, it was sad. Yeah, very sad episode. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. La Delure okay. Exquisite. I think uh, Anthony- I have to be Pitt honest, it's been French. a long time. And now this is making me want to binge watch and start. Me too. It should. It's very old by now, which is crazy to think about. Yeah. It feels like That's so okay. I see you mind. on, I see you on own owning it <laughs> heck yeah so, y'all has two mickey zero lisa zero we are tied lisa tied uh, for the big uh, loser yeah, spot baby. <laughs> looking good feeling gorgeous. okay so it's me i'm gonna roll a dice i'm gonna roll roll it this is fun. five ski five ski okay Anyone what else? did Trey McDougal do for a living? You know, Is Trey, the, 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 the gay man, the no, he the was, uh, man. he was the husband to Charlotte. Oh, that's oh. who she, that bunny. Which honestly, okay. when I think back, I go like, was he a lawyer? What did he do? Lawyer, did he do lawyer or accountant? He didn't That's do shit. Not... He was an heiress to his mom's he, fortune. Yeah, to his. You know what he was? He was a professional mama's boy. That's what he really yeah, was. By the way, that actor yeah. Kyle McLaughlin was supposed to be at Comic Con because he was gonna. Uh, he was in Showgirls, Elizabeth Berkeley, and I was gonna interview him. And I'm like, um, I can't just sit there and not talk about Sex and the City for yeah. an hour. So I'm. Yeah. He canceled. Yeah. I mean, and probably not his own fault. It's a lot of sad going on. The strikes, but I was like. I am kind of glad they canceled because it would have been so fangirl obsessive. Stalker weird. alert! Stalker yeah. alert! <laughs> that just. I'm going to say I, I I believe I think he was a doctor, and I want to say pediatrics. I'm not 100. percent Okay, that's what I'm You're going. Right. To. You're right. He was a, a doctor. doctor. I was like, he was a doctor. I think. What did he do? These are hard, he but I'm glad they asked. Otherwise, yes. Yeah. <laughs> You know what he did? He just acted like a damn pansy. I yeah. Guess. Yeah. Was not the other That's what he did. That's yeah. what he did. Yeah. Okay. What's the answer? I. We, I. He was a doctor. Oh, okay. Right. Right. God damn. Right. Well. She went from a doctor to a lawyer. Okay. <laughs> Good on you, Charlotte. That's you right. That's right. Because Harry was a lawyer. Harry's the Look. lawyer. Harry's my okay. favorite like... male character in the entire series of the show. He's I love him so the much. best. He just He's loves her, and that's it. There's no drama. He's just yeah. a good dude. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Love yeah. him. I love him too. Would you? I don't even remember Trey having a job. I'm like, did he work? I didn't even. <laughs> he think, I thought he was around honestly, a lot. I thought he was a professional mama's boy <laughs> that didn't do nothing except for go out on his yacht and have a rich folk parties. Yeah. And maybe he did rowing. 
I think yeah. I thought that maybe he seemed the type to do some rowing down the river. And kept talking about being Scottish all the time, which is like, okay. Right, and wore his kilt. kilt and tra- run, you're fine. Yeah. Oh, that's and right. The bagpipes, but not With the well. curtain hair, with the Leonardo DiCaprio Titanic hair in like 1999. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who are you? Yeah, I can't. Oh, Ooh. my God. Okay, Val, pick a number. I will pick number three, please. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Trey McDougal. <laughs> Just bashing Trey McDougal. <laughs> that guy. God. Who was actually very kind and like left he her was. in the house. He was just a pansy in a hat. Yeah. Like he was a wet just blanket. A wet blanket. Yes. Yes. Okay. Too moist no, for You said like, number three? <laughs> okay. When Miranda didn't want to have a baby, what did she buy Steve instead? Well, what did Steve buy instead? Shit. I know. Can I answer first? A uh-huh. bar. Bar. He bought a bar. Right? Okay, okay. We'll go next. Whoever next. I think it's what a bar. What did she buy Steve instead? Is it what he bought her or what she bought him? What he Who bought her. What he bought her. Oh. oh, shoot. No, he didn't buy her a bar. That's wrong. Did he try um, to get her a puppy or something? He tried to give her a puppy and she didn't want the puppy. She was pissed about the puppy. I was going to say cat or dog, but I'm 99% sure it's a puppy. Okay, yeah, and I'm thinking puppy. it's an engagement ring. I think Mickey's about to get, she's about to redeem. I got a boy! I, I, it was a puppy! Boy. And he's really cute. He's like a black and white puppers. He was, and she's like, I don't want a damn dog. Yeah. But it went, Val, you answered it correctly too, right? Yeah. No, yep. give okay. it to Mickey, because I think, yeah, no, she got it. I was okay. on the fence. I was like, either a cat, because they have a cat and a dog, mm-hmm. but the cat's name is Big Fatty, which is a weird the... name for a cat. Well, I also ruined the question because I didn't ask it correctly, but. Oh, you got it. That's Mickey's point. Mm-hmm. For the birthday girl. And Lisa, yours? Number one. Oh, she's going number one. Number kid. one. Yeah, you are. You are number one. In oh, man. Hearts. In season two. Who dated a guy with siblings named Franny and Zoe? What? I'm going to say Charlotte. Charlotte. Just because um, I'm answering that because she always wants kids. So if it's already a built-in kid. that You're going Charlotte. I'm going to go Samantha because it might be her African-American boyfriend. I don't know. Who are you going, Mickey? Um, I was gonna go Carrie. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go Carrie. Franny and Zoe. I know. Oh, I'm right. Carrie. Boom. Carrie. Who Boy. is that? Did it and say the that? reason why I say this is because Samantha, and I, that was just a lucky guess, because Carrie is the one who talks the most about her dating life because that's how the column started. And especially in season one and season two, it was very much about the column and her open dating life. You know, you get into it more and then it becomes about Mr. Big and then the relationship with him and then the, yeah. the ballet guy and then the, or the artist guy and then the Aiden. Aiden. Yeah. yeah. So real quick about the ballet guy. So what's funny is my mother owned dance studios when I was younger, right? Like that's what she did. And the guy who plays him, he's not an actor. He's, he's, he's like one of the most, if you Google him, he's like one of the most prolific ballet dancers. Right. Russian, but yeah, Mikhail Baryshnikov. And like when you're in studios, there's always like Baryshnikov methods, like he's the dude. And then right. when he would show up on the show, I was like, what's happening? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was a big yeah. That's why there's a scene where he's running after a taxi and he kind of does these funny jumps. And it's sort of yeah. like, aha, aha. He's a ballerina. Because uh, he wanted to hit, hit his little ballet jumps in there. I yeah. loved him, and I think she really yeah. missed out. Is that wrong? That's a whole other No, she, he was a catch. I, I felt yeah. like, I remember that when that whole thing fell apart, I was like, oh, man, I really like this one. Older and older and European. Yeah. 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 I'm not peeing. I'm fine. Woo! You're I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> no, European. Oh, um, I was going to say, and Samantha... I don't think, especially in that early, she didn't care enough to remember any of their family's no. name. Good. Yeah. She barely remembered their name. 
Mickey yes. knows this show. She knows the nuances of each character, obviously. Yeah, very yeah, good. Yeah. So I was going with a lucky guess, and then I'm like, uh, Charlotte was too much of a prude. Yeah. So yeah. she, like, dated the same people and, like, whatever. And then Miranda and everyone really she dated, dated a whole lot. She was too busy, too busy working. Yeah, and everyone she, Charlotte did, especially season two, when she was especially, like, obnoxious. I, lo- I love Charlotte, again, but I, she's obnoxious. But she would always just, like, sleep with one guy and be like, he's my boyfriend now. It's like, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're the reason very, that men think we're going to like, calm clean. down. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, Kristen Davis. Okay. Yeah. Well, Mickey, if you get this one, we'll have to have a lightning round, but it depends. Okay. So, yeah, Mickey, roll the dice. You're the only one that has dice. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm going to roll the dice. Ready? And I even shuffled. I shuffled. Do it again because your boobies look nice when you're rolling it. So I like. (laughs) Oh, I'm like, oh, that's just my bingo wing back there. (laughs) It's like we were getting pedicures the other day, Alan and I, and like I had the massaging chair and I was like this, and he's like, that looks good. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. (laughs) Oh my god. Okay, so okay, true or false? Here's a true or false. So you got a 50-50 chance, Lisa. Oh boy. Oh boy. Mr. Big speaks Italian. I'm going with false. I'm, I don't think so either. I don't, yeah. I don't think so. False, too. False, false. True. What? True. He does. Tony says, but does he speak Sicilian? <laughs> I manifested that. Okay, so we all got that wrong. Darn it. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If you're going to speak Italian, which is a very cool, you know, language, yeah. why is he not using it in like in the in the boudoir? Or maybe in he life is. Or maybe that's order? why Carrie loved him so is because he only spoke Italian in maybe. the boudoir. When he was lovemaking. In boudoir in um, Italian. And if you guys are watching, like that, what episode is he Medio. speaking about? What season and what episode is he speaking no, Italian? What the hell? Let chatter. us know in the comments. How did you? Did you guys know that Mr. Big speaks Italian? Yeah. You know what he speaks sometimes? BS. You know what he speaks sometimes? Lies. You know what else he speaks fluently? Broken promises. <laughs> Again, I'm Team Mr. Big, but he was very rude to her. Remember when he met that girl that was like 12 and he married her? She was awful. She was like yeah. vanilla plain. Oh, he did that as out of spite. He did that out of spite. Yeah. She was 24. Yeah. I can't. She was 24 years yeah. old. I'm, I'm, I'm mad again for Carrie in like 2001, and I just need to get over it, but I can't. Can't. You're can't. poor therapist. I know, because I have my own problems, and then I have Carrie's problems. It's I got a I got a double double payday for my therapy. <laughs> oh my god! Like so, then he did this. Who? Well, no, not to me. To Carrie, who's Mr. Big? Who's Carrie? Oh, Mr. Big. Who's She's Mr. my other Big. personality? I can't. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, we, have do, we have to do Pick another one. Pick a number. Any number. Do it. Do, do it. Do do answers. What happens when Charlotte tries to do a threesome with her boyfriend? This is what I'm going to guess. That they ignore her and then are into each other. I don't know. I don't, I don't I watched remember. so many shows. Like, this happened on Will and Grace when, like, and that, that is what happened. Like, they, she just couldn't do it. When she tries to have a threesome. I thought... That sh- they they're both gay and they ignore him. her. That's what I thought. What? I think I'm oh, two they're... dudes and they're both gay and they ignore her, but I don't know. Okay. Honestly, this is I honestly the right. this is the game I think I thought right. I had all the answers. I don't. Yeah. I think I think now we right. have to go watch all again. What's the answer? I think the two dudes fall in love he and like starts the dating thing. the other woman. A woman? Okay, we were all wrong. We're all wrong. We were all wrong. You know who else was all wrong? That guy. Because that's not how you do yeah. it, Bruce. And from what I hear, it's not supposed to go like that. At least no. on X Hamster, that's not what I've been watching. So I don't appreciate <laughs> it. Yes. yes. I'm going to have to consult my handbook. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing it wrong, sir. Yes. yes. Do we have... Let's uh, do one more. Let's do one more. more. Yeah, because that was... These are addicting. That- These are addicting. They're, They're fun. So yeah. Okay, I'm going to pick number four. Number four. Who was Carrie trying to impress at the woman in, a, in the arts luncheon? Mm-hmm. 
I can't remember. I know someone that kept bad mouthing. Oh, that's right. That dated Aiden after her, and then she blamed blamed her that they she were getting was the, the brownie. Reason. Yeah, that's yeah. your answer. I don't think it. Now that I'm feeling that out, I don't think it is. But I already said it, so I'll, I'll stick with it. That's my answer. It was. I her honestly, I, I don't know. know what, I'm gonna guess um, her ex husband's mom, just to seem. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. No, that, I'm thinking Charlotte. Um, shit. No, I don't even know. And that mom was horrible. Art. The only thing that makes sense to me is her Vogue editor Enid, that was played by what's her name, um, Murphy Brown, actress. Yeah. Um, Who else? I that I don't know. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't know. Okay. Okay. The answer is Natasha. <gasps> Oh, yeah, because she wrote the letter and she misspelled it. Oh, my God. I am so ashamed of myself. It's I'm okay. Still? Okay. No right. One final, okay. final. One final, final. So Tony I'll says hat of shame question. time. If I had a hat right now. I need the coat of shame. Coat of shame. Yeah, I need it. Yeah. I was trying to do the Undertaker thing. Shame. 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 I know. I know. Shame. Mickey, you get to pick the last one. <laughs> I, I blame myself because I'm the one that's like, listen, it's like the back of my hand. I am you know, a you know, honestly, sex in the Aaron, city. You just forget how many episodes there was. And there's I like know. So Aaron many, like, Landis little... would have been sweeping the floor with our butts. Oh. Right now. Uh, well. Shoe lover. You bet. Like you have cheese on your head. <laughs> it's my golf TV pillow. Number one. Number one. Okay. okay. You ready? Yes. yes. Final, final. Final. Okay. Who dated the bad kisser? There were so many bad kissers. Yeah. I'm going to guess Carrie. I think it was Samantha. Really? Because I feel like she couldn't get past it. Charlotte. Going Charlotte. Okay. Val. You are correct, Val. No! You are correct. But in, in our defense, remember there was the guy that used to... No, I don't know how to say it on the, on the show without... Um, like that? Who's bisexual? Who's bisexual? No, no. Remember the, remember the guy that would like... Lick your face. Yeah, but there was a guy that dated Miranda at Weight Watchers, and they had like you know the donuts. Oh, and, he, and no, to he kiss would kiss her all over after doing would, specific because he was very hungry, and then he would try to kiss her. Yeah, after after specific acts were done. And after was he was after he had his donut. He fancied himself at the buffet, oh. Lisa. Yeah. After he fancied himself at the buffet, he would try to then kiss her on her face, but he had a very wet face. But Mickey, it, it closes out. Lisa, you can also, you know, oh. close too, but yeah. let us know what you're doing for your birthday, what you're excited for. I just want to say, and I'll stop talking because I don't want to be the last one speaking. We love you. We're so glad that you were born, Ski, and we are so happy to celebrate on this show for your birthday with Thank all you. of the fans that love you so much. Oh, we love God. you so much. We love I love you too. I love both of you so much. And I'm grateful to celebrate another year, another year of birth um, on this earth. Yeah. It's pretty freaking amazing. I'm overdoing myself because, you know, here we are. I didn't even know we'd make it this far. Look at us go. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Birthday's pretty amazing. Um, and hopefully, I uh, We'll be able to celebrate another amazing one next year. Not hopefully. Oh, we yes. totally yes. will. Tonight. Yeah. Ladies, yeah. I love you so much. You guys, we have a great guest coming up. Thank with you. Amazing guests for Gaw. And if you have any guests that you haven't seen here yet on Gaw, again, watch the replays if you're just joining us. But if there's a guest you'd like to see on Gaw, let us know in the comments right now. Don't boom, forget boom. to subscribe, like this video. Instagram memberships are up. YouTube memberships are up. We love you guys. And cheers. We love Mickey so much. Happy birthday, gorgeous. Thank you. Cheers. My birthday. Hello, Mickey. It's your birthday. Party like it's your birthday. This is the word to go, y'all.